it's like going into the gym every day. It's hard. You know how you walk in every day and you go, oh, geez, I got to do this again. Yeah, it sounds like a tortured life. And you say it is. it's not. It's a, but it, is. it is. It is. But you know what? Your blessing in life is when you find the torture you're comfortable with. Hey, welcome to Crafty Music Tips. My name is Crafty. I'm a full-time musician and currently in South Australia, where I live right now, is the Adelaide Fringe Festival, which basically for a full-time musician means that it's, it's hell. hell. But it's also not. It's really, really cool because there's lots of really amazing fringe acts on, some of which I have the pleasure of being involved in. So whatever you are doing in your life, whatever it is that you have going on, what is it for you that is kind of hell or torture where you go, oh, but I'm also really glad that I'm doing it. For me, a long time ago, I chose music as my path and it's just such a privilege to be able to say that I'm still doing it. And during this crazy busy time, I've had very little time to myself. So when I saw this very quick video of Howard Stern chatting with Jerry Seinfeld, my favorite TV show, by the way, then I thought, I have got to unwind. I've got to take my mind off it or whatever. So I watched it and I'm really glad that I did because I found that it was very profound and it hit me with a lot of current relevance for what I've got going on right now. And for you, I thought, depending on whatever it is that you've got going on, I thought, well, these are very wise words from a great man. So you may as well hear them too. You went to a Chinese restaurant. And uh, you're like, I, I really admire Chinese people mm -hmm. because they're really sticking to this chopsticks thing. The line is, I like how they're hanging in there with the chopsticks. Right. Because they've seen the fork. <laughs> they've seen the fork. Yeah. And We've it got it. You beat. <laughs> yeah. But they're Why, going now. To me, no. this is a brilliant observation. Thank you. Yes. Now, when you had that observation, were you sitting at a Chinese restaurant? And can you go to a Chinese restaurant and not sit there and work on material? I'm never not working on material. So ever. even even when you're sitting with your wife, you're sitting with the kids, it's material. Every second of my existence, I'm thinking, could I do something with that? That, to me, sounds torturous. Like, oh, you cannot no, why? let go. So if I came over to your house and we were hanging out, you're kind of really looking for material not and kind of i'm looking for material <laughs> so this really resonates with me i wonder if it resonates with you do you feel like that you never get a break as a musician as whatever it is that you're doing in your field for me i feel that i feel like that i'm dreaming sleeping showering eating i'm doing just everything in my life and I've always got songs going around in my head. I've always got thoughts about stuff that I need to teach my students, stuff that I've got coming up for upcoming events, especially now. I'm really, really struggling to juggle it all because I've just got so much stuff on because of this Fringe Festival. And what Jerry's saying there, he's saying he's sort of proud of it. He's happy for it. To him, it's a blessing. I'm looking for material but that's, all the time. That's being at work 24 hours a day. What? It's neurotic. Making jokes is not work. It's a gift. Have you ever been in therapy? No. Yeah, so that really resonates for me. When people say like, oh, so what job do you do? I'm like, job? <laughs> I'm a full-time musician. I don't work. Even though, I mean, there's many times where I feel like I'm very fatigued and very stressed with trying to get it all done. But it's such a pleasure. It's work that I enjoy. So I don't want to think of it as work as something that's arduous that I have to do. I want to do it. Jokes is not work. It's a gift. Have you ever been in therapy? No. So it doesn't bother you that, like, when you're with your wife, are you authentically with your wife? Or are you saying, oh, what no, she just said no. is universal and I can relate yeah, to that? No, I'm not authentically with her, nor am I authentically with you right now. Right. You are somewhere else. No. There's material, the material in here. Yeah, I'm looking There's for a joke right now. Guess right what? Now. There's nothing here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you resonate with that. That's something that really resonates with me that, about being authentically there. If I'm a punter at a concert or if I'm watching a movie, if I'm experiencing something as a punter, I can't just enjoy it for what it is. And that's annoyed friends of mine, past relationships, family members. It's just, it's a 
curse that I've got, but I don't feel like it's a curse. I feel like that even though, as Howard Stern says, you know, it's kind of neurotic, it's something that I really enjoy. When it comes down to it, I'm just reveling in it. I can sit and remember all of this material. What else have I got to do? That's your day? You me- memorize this material? Howard, you do it over and over and over. You say to Tiger Woods, I, 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 how do you remember which club to use? What, what the hell else has this guy got to do? So when someone says to you, oh, you have it so easy, you're so naturally funny, and blah, blah, blah. Yes, you are naturally funny, and you do have that ability to figure that stuff out, but they don't realize the amount of work that goes into it. It's like going into the gym every day. It's hard. You know how you walk in every day and you go, oh, geez, I got to do this again. Yeah, it sounds like a tortured life. And you say it's it's not. It it is. It is. is. But you know what? Your blessing in life is when you find the torture you're comfortable with. I just got goosebumps. The blessing in life is finding the torture that you're comfortable with. Oh, thank you, Jerry Sunford. You just made me feel better about all of the crap that I have to put up with in my life. Because, yeah, it can feel torturous. And it is something that when it really comes down to it, it doesn't bother me. Maybe in the heat of the moment I get frustrated and err, but really when it comes down to it, I enjoy what I do. And I'm very thankful. Like he says, for him, it's a gift. And the gift is being able to give the jokes, the laughter, the comedy to others. For me, I get the gift of giving music or the musical instruction that I can do. It's it's a, a privilege to be able to do. So that was nice to be able to hear. I can't and that's argue marriage, with that. it's I, kids, I, it's work, it's work, it's exercise, yes. it's not eating the food you want to eat. Right. Find the torture you're comfortable wow. with and you'll do well. Do you ever dream of the day where you could go with your wife to a Chinese restaurant and sit there and not think about that the chopsticks are a ridiculous I'd invention? I'd shoot myself in the mouth. Would you? <laughs> what, what, what fun is life if I'm not making jokes all the but time? But you said it's a torture also. It's a torture I love. Wow. You really know yourself. I, I, guess, I guess I do. Yeah. I guess I do. Amen. <laughs> That's all I've got to say about that. That is something that I feel and it is a constant reminder to me that it's a torture that I love being a full-time musician. Now, is this something that is resonating for you? Are you someone that is feeling the torture, feeling the burn? If that is something that you are going through, no matter what industry that it is, no matter what task it is that you're doing, well then, might I suggest... Really try and focus in on what are the positive elements that are the things that are attached to the torturous elements for you. Because for me, I've had to do that. I've had to be very clear about what it is. I go to the point of writing them down sometimes, maybe just in my phone, maybe I write them down on a piece of paper, but I become very clear what the positive things are so that when it's mayhem, when it's madness, I've got that really clear grasp on what it is that I'm in it for. All right. So thank you, Jerry Seinfeld, not only for those words, but for your amazing contribution to the world. And I can see why you do make such a great contribution to the world because of just the way that you think. And so for you watching this right now, what's your mindset like? Do you find that you're getting a little bit lost and caught up in your crazy busyness in your own little world and not actually seeing the big picture? For what it's worth, I hope that that helped you. It was a really nice little just nudge for me into the right direction. Just, you know, I've been going nuts lately with this Fringe Festival. So it was really a nice, pleasant thing for me to hear. Now, if you found this video helpful, there's a bunch of other ones here on the Crafty Music Tips channel. And if that's still not enough, I have a quick parting gift to offer you. It's called Five Steps to Fast Improvement. Basically, if you're feeling the burn of not really getting the rates of improvement that you want in your life and not getting to where it is that you want, well then I would suggest it's because you're not really clear 
about what it is that you need to be doing and where it is that you need to be going. So what I do is I just give you five simple steps to be able to follow, to make it clear and to be able to make it something that is achievable for you. So it's in a free ebook download. It's a really quick, easy read and it's something that a lot of people have found helpful. So if you think that that's going to be helpful for you, I'll leave a link below. So that's it for me. I got to get back to this Fringe Festival. I'll see you in another video really soon, wherever you are. Just remember that you don't have to do everything right now. Just do the next thing.